by both the white and the black. The answer I shall state is as possible. I don't want you to think that we intend to uh, confuse you. We want to make it very simple. We want freedom. We want a full and complete freedom. We want <coughs> justice, right. equal justice, right. under the law of justice, right. Right. regardless to who or what. Right. We want equality, right. equal opportunity, right. equal membership, with the best of the best civilized society. Right, right, right. <laughs> we want our people in America whose parents or grandparents were descendants from slaves, <clears throat> masters, to be allowed to establish uh, there are either on this coast or elsewhere. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> we believe that our former slave masters are obligated to provide such land and that the area must be fertile yeah. and minerally rich. Right. Yeah. We believe that our former slave masters are obligated to maintain and <clears throat> supply our needs for the next 20 or 25 years. Yes. <clears throat> In this separate territory, until we are able to, pro to produce and supply our own needs. <clears throat> Since we cannot get along with them, meaning the slave master's children, them in peace and equality after giving them for 400 years of our sweat and blood. And receiving in return some of the most waste treatment human beings have ever experienced. We believe our contribution to this land and the suffering forced upon us by white Americans justifies our demand for complete separation in a state or territory of our own. We want freedom yeah. for all believers right. of Islam now held in federal prison. Right. We want freedom for all black men and women. Yes, now under death sentence in the number of prisons in the North as well as the South. We want every black man and woman to have the freedom to accept or reject being 
separated from the slave master's children. and to be established in the land of their own. Yes, right, we know that <clears throat> the above plan for the solution of the black and white conflict is the best and only solution to the problem between the two peoples. Yes, right, right. We want an immediate end to the police brutality. Murder and mob attacks against us, the so-called Negroes, throughout the United States of America. Right. Right. We believe that the federal government should enforce their law of justice right. equally, regardless to creed or color, right. since the Constitution right. claims citizenship to all who are born under the American flag. Allow us to go and build a government for ourselves dedicated to freedom, justice, and equality. We do not believe that after 400 years of free are nearly, are nearly free labor, sweat and blood, which has helped America become rich and the most powerful and mightiest country on the earth. Yeah. That so many thousands of black people here should have to subsist on relief, charity, or live in poor houses. We want the government to exempt us from all taxation of any kind. Yes, as long as we are deprived of equal rights or justice under the law of the land. If there are no provisions made to separate our people on some of this good earth that we can call our own, right. then send us back where we came from. Right. <laughs> we want equal education, but in separate schools, up to 16 for boys and 18 for girls, on the condition that the girls be sent to women, colleges, and universities. We want all black children educated, taught, and trained by their own teachers under <laughs> Under such school schooling system, we believe we will make a better nation of people. We believe that intermarriage between the races, mixing, should be prohibited. Right. We want the religion of Islam taught 
without hindrance or suppression. These are some of the things that we, the Muslims, want for our people in North America. we believe in, what the Muslim believe. First, we believe in the one God, whose proper name is Allah. Second, we believe in the Holy Quran and in the scriptures of all the prophets of God, regardless to where or where. Third, we believe in the truth of the Bible. But we believe that it has been tampered with and must be re Reinterpret so that mankind will not be snared by the falsehood that has been added into it. We believe in Allah's prophet and the scriptures they brought to the people. Fifth, we believe in the resurrection of the dead. Not a physical resurrection. We believe this res resurrection is a mental resurrection. We believe that the so-called Negroes are the most in need of mental resurrection. Therefore, they will be resurrected first. Right. Furthermore, we believe we are the people of God's choice. Right. As it is, uh, has been written, that God would choose the reject and the despise. We can find no other people fit in this description in these last days more than we the so-called Negroes in America. We also believe in the resurrection of the righteous. We believe in the judgment. We believe this first judgment will take place as God has revealed it in America's place. Seven, we believe that <clears throat> this is the time <clears throat> in history for the separation of the so-called Negroes and white Americans. <clears throat> we believe the black men should be freed from the name imposed upon him by his slave master. <laughs> Names which identify him as being the slave of masters. We believe that if we are free indeed, we should go in our own people's names the black people of the earth. Right. Eight, we believe in justice for all, right. whether in God or not. Right. We believe as us that we <coughs> are do equal justice as human beings, right. we believe in equality right. as a nation of equals. Right. We do not believe that we are equal with our slave master in the state status, a status, pardon me, of free slaves. Right. Right. We recognize and respect America's 
are the American citizens as independent people and we respect their laws which govern this nation. Right. Right. Ninth, we believe that the offer of integration is hypocritical right. and is made by those who are trying to deceive the black people into believing that their 400 year old open enemies of freedom, justice and equality are all of a sudden their friends. Furthermore, we believe that such deception is intended to prevent black people from realizing that the time in history has arrived for their separation from the rights of this nation. Right. If the white people are truthful about their professed friendship towards the so-called Negroes. They can prove it by dividing up America with their slaves. We do not believe that America will ever be able to furnish enough jobs for her own millions of unemployed, in addition to jobs for our 20 million black people here as well. We believe that we who have declared ourselves to be righteous Muslims should not participate in wars which take the lives of human beings. We do not believe this nation should force us to take such part in her war. For we have nothing to gain from it unless America agrees to give us the necessary territory wherein we may have something to fight for. We believe our women should be respected and protected as the women of other nationalities. We believe that Allah, God, has appeared in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. The long awaited Messiah of the Christian and the Medi of the Muslim. We believe, Father, and last, that Allah is God, and besides Him, there is no God. And that He will bring a power a universal government of peace wherein we all can live together in peace. Right. That is what the Muslim wants. Right. That is what the Muslim believes. I would like to go back, put a little emphasis on some of what 
the Muslim world. If we ask you, meaning the white American slave masters, for freedom, indeed, I think that we are right. When we use the word indeed, As we have been your subjects for now 400 years, that's a long old time to to be subject to a people. Or the slaves of people. 300 of those years, we worked for you for nothing. In those 300 years, we were treated like your unheard of cattle. You had no more regard for our human rights than you did your own animals. You lashed the backs of my father right. and my mother right. without any mercy. Right. That's right. That's what it did. You killed them whenever you felt like that you wanted to see them fall. Right. And yet you sweethearted with my grandparents. children went into my grandmother's right. and gotten children, children by her right. and then put them on the block for sale. Right. <laughs> and today you are still crossing over to our women. You, I only put this forth to you to show you why that we want to take leave of you. In those days, you sold her son, which was your own son right. and daughter. Right. I'm not telling you what I heard. I'm telling you what my own grandparents told me. Right. My father's mother, she told me her father was a white slave master. And she looked it. Today, my women here today, Daughter, girl, all subject to your own bidding. You take their son today, bash the brains in with nightclubs, blow the brains out with your gun throughout the country without any due 
process of law that you have already put here before them. Law of justice, you have it, but we don't enjoy it. Just for yourself. You have, in words, trodden us under feet in the mar of civilization. That's right. And now today, you stand as our chief adversary to prevent us from escaping right. Right. your own evil and unjust doings to our people. whose sweat and blood has helped you to build the greatest country and government on the earth. You are so rich today that you are able to feed almost the every mouth in Europe and to clothe them. You are so rich that you can throw away billions of dollars to nation to get their friendship. You are so rich and so powerful that you command the high seas, the air, the land, even to, to the ice caps of the poles of the earth. All this we help you to do. We are still standing. While that some of us go to your wall, shooting down your enemies as you point them out to us, and are being shot down, you still back home. Your brother killing us right. at home. You don't come to us single, one by one. You go against us in games. Then if we cry for justice, you take that and twist it right. and make it look like that we are the real enemies of justice yeah. that you're trying to enforce. Yeah. If we say that you are evil, you want to make a case against us for falsely accusing you. When you know that you've never been good to us. Today, you are trying to deceive the poor once servant to slave of yours yeah. by telling him that you will now show him a little friendship. Right. I will let you ride right beside me yeah. on my best transportation. <laughs> I will also allow you to work in my office with me. Anywhere. I'm going to put you in the government. But what is that going to do for us and our children in the future? Will this help us 
to make a great future for our people and own what you has on and is still on it. That is a place on this earth that you can call your own. Yes, sir. You are friendly to your dog. You also let him ride in your fine transportation beside you. You also will let your dog eat at the table with you. And will give him the food that you eat. And also, you will <coughs> protect him under your law of justice more so than you will that 400-year-old human slave that you have. You will kill one of us if we kill your dog. You will kill your friend if he killed your dog. But you will not kill your brother for killing us. In this way, you think more of your dog. He's a more classified citizen in the land than we so-called Negroes. If the dog wants freedom, if the dog whines a bark tonight that he's uncomfortable, you will get up and try to comfort that dog. But if you hear a million Negroes crying, grieving, suffering from the brutality of you at your hand and the hand of your people, you will laugh. Now today you think it's this place to hear Elijah Muhammad preaching freedom and separation. You said they was free. You said that they should be separated. If we are free, why try and hinder us from exercising the right of freedom? If we are free and not your slaves as we were <laughs> about 300 years ago, 100 years ago I should say, then why? Do you want us to stay with you when that you know that you're not going to treat us as your equal? When you know that you're not offering us anything but a job. Why did you think that I, Elijah Muhammad, is doing a hateful job here asking the Negro to be separated from you when you have said they was free a hundred years ago to go from you. That's right. Now why are you trying to make it the time in your land for one so-called Negro, Elijah Muhammad, teaching them that they should be separated right. from you? Right. You declared that they could go from you a hundred years ago. But you didn't offer them anything to go with.
Therefore, you today are very clever in your way of approaching them to remain with you. A big smile, a pat on the shoulder, a hug, and even a kiss, but no land behind As it is written, we live and is a prey in the hand of a hypocritical nation. You say that you're going to do better for us than you have in the past. Do you mean to say that you are doing better for us by giving us more jobs or better jobs or laughing in our face and showing to us that you want to be friendly and sociable with us without any land? We love for our people what you love for you. You want them to stay in your lane. This shows that you are hypocrite. You didn't mean that you had freed them. You know as long as that so-called Negro are called by your name, he belongs to you. There is no power in the international world of black mankind that can come here and demand you to give these so-called Negroes up as long as the so-called Negro agrees to be called by your name and to worship what you worship and to accept what you are. No Negro. You know that. You know they are blind, deaf, and dumb. As Mr. Oak, a little Connor, yeah, a few days ago, referred to me as Elijah Poo. And I have never been a Poo. a fool when that was my grandparent slave master's name. Do Mr. Len O'Connor want to make me white? I'm not no white man. Why call me after your name? But Mr. Len O'Connor is very clever. He's very smart. He know that Elijah Muhammad people is dead right. mentally. Right. And he know that the best way to rule and keep them subject to him is to blind them and make them to believe that you in your right name. That's your right name. My name. My name is your is whatever. What was your name? You never had a name. That was their name. How can we say we have a name when we are called by someone else's name? Right. Right. Now today, God Almighty in person is offering you yeah. 99 attributes of himself as name. Right. This Mr. Leno kind of knows 
that God is in your midst, right. he knows that these names is coming from right. God. Right. But if, baby, you are still asleep, I'm going to keep rocking your cradle to keep your sound asleep, to keep uh, the noise from waking you up. I'm here with the truth. Take the words, turn them over and over. Examine them. Put them on this scale of fact and weigh them. And if I'm not teaching you the truth, I say, come up here and prove it, and I'll lie my head down there and let you chop it off. We want freedom indeed. Why shouldn't we want to go from a people who rage and burn us? Why shouldn't we want to go uh, from a people who every night we can see our own brother out there falling under the blows of so-called peace officers and falling at the uh, bullet from his gun? From this, I have seen police go and vex one of our people to try and make him say something so that they can get a chance to beat him or kill him. I know that to be fact. You say that you want to help us. Help us where? Help us to do what? If you don't want to help us to leave you with a good sell-off, then what are you going to help us to do if we stay here? You want us to stay here, as the Bible teaches us in you. You want to hold us as a prey. That's all. And again, symbolically, it says in Daniel that the beast had three ribs of a man in his mouth that he saw rise up on this uh, the water. We must remember this symbolic picture must be interpreted, understood. If he had three ribs in his mouth of a man, what man had he yet? The beast is a picture of our enemies. Right. He's, our enemy is just like a wild, vicious beast right. who always is ready to pounce upon us and destroy our lives. Right. Like a, a, a wild beast. I have lived with you right. all my life. Right. I was born in the South. Right. I have looked upon <laughs> evil treatment of our people. Right day and night, right. and have shed it tears for it many old times. Right. Yes, no justice what for right. whatsoever. Right. I have seen my own people knocked down and kicked about just because they asked for a fair settlement. Right. Right. And I have heard your own brother in this house say to them, you take what I say. Yeah. You don't figure behind me, right. nigga. You don't want to be made known right. your evil to us. Right. Come to us in the past and our present. Why? Because you have some bootlickers out there right. and they are crazy about you right. and you want to keep them like that. Ah, 20 million people come through as, as the old prophet in your last book of the Bible through both trial and tribulation. We are here today asking for equal justice under your own law. We're asking for freedom that you claim that you have given to us. 
freedom to go for ourselves. We don't want you to think that we want to be an ever beggar on your hand. We know you have gotten plenty to beg. If we wanted to beg you, you have plenty to fascinate us, enticing us to just to sit and be charmed at your wealth to beg. But if we are given freedom indeed, we can go build for us the same as you have. Why should not our people who are educated in your schools, your colleges and universities, our technicians, engineers of all kinds, why should not they go and forge and blast the way for their own people as a nation build and construct a government for their people as you and your father did when you crossed Atlantic. Right. They may they may be a little lazy and want to start at top first, but you wasn't able to start at the top. You may have it in their mind that they cannot even go for themselves. But I want to know how educated was your father when they crossed Atlantic to start fighting off the Indians. They were not the wise politicians and scientists as you are today. But nevertheless, they kept digging, turning the soil, and felling trees, blazing the country for a place for themselves, until today they made a paradise out of it. And, in, and they were not satisfied with trying to do this alone. They had to go all the way back across the Atlantic yeah. and there bring my fathers here, right. our fathers, to help them. Right. Since you wanted to be your little white self, why would you go and get black people to come here? Why would you mix your blood with the black people and yet deprive them of equal justice? Talk to them. That's the thing. If you're so mighty and so wise, why did not you build and construct your own government and country and leave us alone? We, <coughs> we build your railroads with our on sweat. We, <coughs> we <coughs> plowed your farms, your plantations. We cut down the underbrush and the trees. Now today you have replaced that kind of labor for mechanical labor. And you don't have nothing for us to do in that way. You are making great crops with just two or three men. Right. Cultivating right. hundreds of acres of land right. under machinery right. operation. We, you don't need us for that. Right. You pick your cotton right. with a mechanical machine. Right. Everything is done mechanical today. Right. Right. Now what and why you don't want us to leave you when you don't see no hope in you? Especially when you don't want us to do anything but labor. Why should not we want some of this earth where we can start building a government for the future of our people? So that they won't be a subject people for just labor, labor, year after year for another people. And in all of that, 
laboring and submissive to the will of that nation, they still <laughs> are subject to the most brutal treatment that human being can ever be subject to. You should be ashamed of yourself today to lynch and kill so-called Negroes while you have an army full of Negroes here and there all over the earth helping you to fight and protect and maintain the government that you want. You should be ashamed of it. Especially when that same slave, father, slave for your father, for nothing. And now you will go and take him before your own judgment and there give him an unjust judgment. This is a shame thing. Do you think that you are going to get away with it forever? If God Almighty uh, help upon me, help that the old clay pots in uh, the time of Nebuchadnezzar and uh, Belshazzar yeah. was sacred to his house that he would bring a punishment upon these two kings that should go down in the history as a warning to the nation and kings that would come after these two. Yeah. If those clay vessels a golden vessel, a civil vessel, was sacred in the eyes of God yeah. in those days that he destroyed the power of rule of Nebuchadnezzar and put him as a disgrace among beasts. And Belshazzar was still outright for taking that same vessel, yeah. pouring wine, intoxicating drinks in it and making mark of the vessel as being a sacred vessel to God. He turned his kingdom over to other rulers. He divided his kingdom to, in, pardon me, in between three different people. Do you think now that after 400 years of destroying making blind, deaf, and dumb. This people yeah. that you call Negroes are slain, which means something hard, something life, something that is neutral. It don't <clears throat> know how to go for itself. It is not either this nor that. Yeah. It's a neutral thing. That you can mistreat them and get away with it for 400 years, frying their flesh in the fire shooting them down at will all over the country, yeah. making a mark of God's protection for them. Do you think that God would sleep forever and allow you to treat these people like that? Recent, yeah, in Los Angeles, on the 27th of May, 75 police came over to kill all that they could of my, of my followers yes, in mass number 27. Right, right. Think over that. Right, right. 75 police is right, well armed right, right. with all kinds of shooting <laughs> weapons. Right. Came and start shooting point blank right. at unarmed right. people who were not able to even strike back with a club. Right, right. And you sit silently and laugh under your sleeve, say you should have killed all of them, Negro. Do you think that you are going to get away with it? I say you are gravely mistaken if you think that you are going to kill us and get away with it. We have been put here as a dare.
for God to get a chance to fight you. We know that we're going to lose a few, but we know that God's going to kill all of you. At least those who represent that said Jesus to you, they don't wait for him to answer their prayer. Right, right. They answer their own prayer. Right. 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 <laughs> Get out of that kind of stuff. There is no such thing as there's some spirit up in the sky somewhere listening on you. Yeah. They're on the earth listening at you. There's no such thing as you are going to die and one day come up out of the earth meeting your friend that also died before you. I said, get out of that slavery teaching. That's, that's the white man's teaching to keep you blind, deaf, and dumb to the knowledge of Christ. Get out of it. Tell him to depend on such. If you believe in it, then you can. And he don't believe in it himself. Right. When you are dead, you are dead. Right. And I have proof of that. Right. Do you have proof that they will come back? Right. No. no. I said to you, my friend, it's the day of awakening. Right. Your slave masters have deceived you. Right. And they want you to remain deceived. Right. Right. They hate any one of you that will try to teach facts right. to the other. Right. They hate any one of you that want to become equal. They hate any one of you that want justice. They don't want that. But yet they will tell you that they want to help you and they want to give you justice. Right. But you don't get it. That's an old promise that they should put in their far part. Right. Yeah. You don't get it. We want freedom indeed. We want justice. We want to be justified as human beings along with other human beings. We want the world to know that we love to be respect as other people who are now being respected. We cannot <coughs> live in America and keep increasing a nation here to wait for white people for, uh, 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 I would say, little money or some bread. Again, I warn you that employment in your behalf will continue to decrease. Right. You're not going to get no permanent job. You're not going to remain on the job that you have. Right. The white man know and I know that he is now being driven out right. of foreign land. Right. Because of his troublemaking. Right, right, right. He knows that this right. is a manifest right. proof. Now, if he are driven out of African and Asia, do you think that he's going to give you a job before he gives his own people a job? <laughs> that is also written and prophesied in the Bible that he will be driven out right. of Asia right. Right. and back into the sphere where he was. Right. Right. Again, the Bible teaches you in another place, in that day, 
Every man will go to his own. Why shouldn't you and I go to our own? If every man have a place on this earth that he can live on, that he calls his own, why should not he go there? Why shouldn't the white man go back to Europe? If every man's own is to be given back to him as it is predicted in the Bible, right, right. I don't see much own for the white man. Right. Right. I say again and again that there is no way for us to get along with white people that our parents were their subject slaves and who are holding us today in uh, the position of a status slave. Right. No way for us to get along with those people in right. peace. They have been free to beat and kill us all their lives. Right. And they will ever uh, beat and kill us. Right. America is not going to take her armies and come out and kill her people to make them treat us right. right. You saw that at the city and in the south. Right. When, uh, when the U.S. Marshal went down in the South to try to enforce right. their law. When they saw that they had to shoot their brother, they uh, packed up and left. <laughs> and you read in the paper and you heard where that the Southern Senator today has killed that Bill of Rights. Civil rights is just a thing that is talked of. Right. But are not a thing that is right, 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 right. You today who long and love to remain the servants of white people wishes that he would uh, pass such bill. But it is God's work today. Right, right, right. God wants to show you who, who that you have been serving right, right. other than himself. Right, right. He wants to show you if he says they are the devil, he wants to prove it to you. Yeah. They cannot do that all of what Allah will allow them to do. I say, my friends, my brothers, my sisters, we are a people that God loves. Today our God has come to us to deliver us from the <laughs> merciless hand of our enemies. They are our enemies. When have they shown to us that they were our friends. What, uh, what act of friendship are they showing today? If they said to you and I that we want uh, to go and uh, put you in fine homes up and down the boulevard, that would not be an act of friend, no. What moved you to give us such houses? You must see the destruction coming right. to these houses. <laughs> it was not from the very heart. Yes. I say again, and I hope that I could say this, and that the whole world of human beings could hear it. Never to want to marry white people. You are not made white, you are black, and remember that you are the first. Right. The senator and other white people every now and then who will, I would say, shame and disgrace themselves or, or their uh, intelligence to say to us that we are teaching black supremacy. And we have our own ignorant people who will also <coughs> become enemies against us because that we
as you heard or read what Mr. Burke said concerning black supremacy. He pitied the white, but he despised you and I. Think over those words coming from a man of your own blood and flesh. He despised you and I to talk of being a supreme people. But yet he have lived under a white man, supreme rule all his life. And there is no hope that he will ever get out from under the rule of the white man in that love talk white supremacy. He will never live under black man's rule. Black man don't want no such poison member. These are not our leaders. No, right. We care nothing for Bert right. and his scholarship and his uh, 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 skill, science in the political world. We don't care nothing about that. We're not asking him to help us. We don't want no poison mind like that to help us. Let him praise to white people. Yeah. Let him love white people. Yeah. Let him be white people. Right. We're not concerned over him. And if he said that he despised supreme or uh, black supremacy, I want to ask Bunch and the white people themselves. Who was ruling on this planet Earth before you? Yeah. You just came here yesterday. Yeah. We are not from you, nor are we from your father. We're not Adam people. Right. Adam was not our people. Right. Not our father. Right. Adam is the white people. Right. You must remember that Adam was the most disobedient of all. Right. And his descendants still are disobedient right. people. Right. Right. And when Adam fell, his, uh, the doom was set for his children. Right. Never to tell people that you are from Adam. Right. Adam is the father of white people right. Right. and not black people. Right. Right. We were before Adam and we will be after his children. Yeah. Right. Black man is self-created. Right. He has no father. He's the father of himself. Right. You can't find his birth record. Right. And you can't preach his doom. Right. An evil and a murderous people now seek you to shut your mouth and don't say that I'm a murderer. Don't say I have killed you. Don't say I deprive you of gesture. Right. Don't talk like that. Right. Say I'm uh, a friend of yours. Yeah. Say that we're trying to do better. Yeah. Do better. Do better then. <laughs> Take us back where we came from. Yeah. <laughs> we're not asking you to bring to us a bunch of philosophy. That's yours. Yeah. We only want ours. Right. That's what we want. Right. We don't want to, uh, <coughs> to be slaves forever. Right. Bunch you, uh, is eating uh, steaks. Bunch is eating uh, chicken. Right. Bunch have money right. that you give him. Right. Bunch lives in a good house. Right. 
that you give him. Right, right. You pay his birth right. to be your friend. Right, right. It gets us. Right, right, right. We don't want bunch. Right. Bunch can't come over here and lead us. Yeah. In fact about it, <laughs> Almighty God Allah didn't raise me up to follow no leadership but his own. I follow only the leadership of God. But I look like bowing to a blind, deaf, and dumb leader. But you don't know himself. So whenever they mention bunch to you, just tell them, <laughs> That's your man, yeah. not mine. <laughs> Think over these things. Yeah. You, you. I said to you, my beloved, uh, in my <coughs> conclusion, freedom indeed is what you want. Right. 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 Freedom to do for yourself, as you think best. That's what they are fighting for themselves. To be free to do as they want to do. And they are fighting to the death for it. You and I should fight to the death to be free to do what we want to do. You know, and I know, how much this people hates me. For what? Because I teach you the truth. That's all. They know that I'm doing a better job with you than any one ever appeared among you. If the white circle leaves, want to keep their circle white. I said, thank you, keep it white. Okay. Yeah. If the German Nazis want to keep their race white, thank you, keep it white. Yeah. If the Ku Klux Klan want to keep their race white, I said, help yourself. Go to it. Now, when I say I want to keep mine black, white circle German Nazi, and Ku Klux Klan, keep your mouth out of it. Here on the south side, we want to build for us a nation that will be recognized, a nation that will be self-respect and receiving respect of the nations right. of the earth. Right. But if this people continue to fracture the evil and the filth that white people are pouring in their face today, they will never be a respected people. Right. What? Right. All it one teaches you that the devil leads you to nothing right, but right. evil and filth. Right, right. We see that on the TV. Right. We see them absolutely all but new. Right. Just playing themselves on the TV and, and singing some of the most filthy songs. Right. Yeah. Right. And dancing some of the most filthy days. Right. That even almonds would not do if they know how.
Will we take such people for our guide and example? If the government will allow its own citizens to display such filth and evil that they are displaying on the screen of the TV before the public eye and children of yours and mine, and on the radio every hour in the day, yes, then the government meant back evil and filth. Right. 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 I said to you, you are divine people from God, right. and you have no absolutely sin whatsoever. It's the sin of white people that you have. Right. You have none of yours. Right. You are not that people, and you are fraction after them. They want to stop me from teaching, regardless to what. If they have to kill me, they want to stop me from teaching. But I say you won't do that unless it please all of Every day now, they are, are planning how to stop Elijah and his followers. But I say I think you're a little late. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your sun has set, right. and the glory of her on the <coughs> disguise of the nation right. is now winging away. Right. And another new sun is rising right. that will give us a better light than right. you have. Destroying the Negro, bringing him in a state of helplessness right. is your absolute policy. Right. Never let him rise. Your laws <coughs> are court of laws in slavery. Right. Was this that a Negro right. was the property of white people, right. and that he cannot be redeemed, right. nor can he redeem himself. That was your law. Right. And you still have that in mind today. That he's my Negro. But you are more civilized today than your father's was. And you're more sharp for how to deceive him. You won't tell him that, but you will work and, and your work will manifest to him that he's still your puppet. And you want, him, want to keep him like that. Just dare one to rise up and say, let us all exercise the rights of freedom. Right. You ready to tell that <laughs> man's followers, he's going to get you in trouble. Right. Now you are having uh, a good time. Isn't we treating you right? right. We're treating you right, Negro. Right. Why do you want to listen to a man like that who will make it hard for you? Yeah. What are you talking about? We are a nation ourselves. Right. We don't want none of your uh, guidance right. trying to tell us what we shouldn't do and what we shouldn't say. We are free people. Right. We right. can think. Right. We can do. Right. Leave us alone. Right. 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 They say, well, what are they going to do? If we white people don't give them a job, give them some money, what are we going to do? Yeah. They start to death. No, hell we won't. have a God on our side right. today. Right. We never will be in time forsaken anymore. Right. No, right. <laughs> Some of, uh, well, a man asked me the other day, he says, why didn't you all fight? Why didn't you all get even with the white people when you shut down, uh, shut down your own secretary? I said, listen, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I said, we have an answer when time comes for an answer. Right. I want you to know that you are qualified to go for yourself. Don't deceive your own self. You are qualified. But there is no black people qualified if the white people are to tell them that they are qualified for self-government.
Look what has happened in Algeria, Nigeria. Look what has happened in Africa, Germany. None of them is able to go for themselves. Let <laughs> Europe and America tell them. But I want to know how much qualified was their father to come over here and establish a government around 500 or six years ago. How much qualification did they have? But they established a government for themselves, right? Leave us alone. If you think that you can starve us by depriving us of jobs, or depriving us even uh, <coughs> to have the freedom or privilege to buy your merchandise with your own money, try and do it. I said that because there is many of my people who think that we are jumping into fire by saying that we want to be separated into some of, some of this earth that we can call our own. We think and know that, other, that Americans owe it to us. Giving them all of these many years or centuries of free labor and blood, that if she don't owe us what we are asking, for. Then I said, she should have the right to kill every one of them. <laughs> she owed to She should give us up and send us off with a good sinner. She should divide the country with us if she wants us to stay here and fight her war. If she don't want us in her walls, then set us aside. Just leave us alone. You are able to fight your walls now <coughs> with your, your advanced science and to <coughs> uh, military might and uh, weapons of war you have prepared. You can fight your own war now. You don't need us. You don't expect us to be of any help much for you. In a war now, with such a death that you have made uh, in the sign of warfare, you can take care of yourself. And if you don't, then that's God to have mercy on your soul. <laughs> We want what you want. We want to uh, preserve our own people as you want to preserve yours. We want a decent and a respected woman as you want yours. We are tired of seeing you go in and out the neighborhood of our people freely. Mixing with our women, <laughs> taking her, pouring your own <laughs> blood in her to produce children like yourself to keep us deprived of peace yes. among us. Yes. We're tired of that. Yes, we are. And I'm asking the unity of all black men who love their woman to rise up as one man and protect that woman from Spain. And I said to you, my beloved sisters, do not cut your dress off to your knees and above your knees just because you see white women doing this. If they choose to disgrace themselves, why should you follow and disgrace yourself? 
They did that to your fathers. Long time ago, it's recorded in the Holy Quran. When they followed their father, Yaku, out of the root of civilization of our people, they taken them into Europe and stripped them there. Right. And they went new there for near 2,000 years. Right. Until the birth of Moses. Right. I said to you, my beloved sisters, you are just as strong, or we are just as strong as you. Right. If you're weak, we weak. Right. If you're disgraced, we are disgraced. Right. If you are respected, we are respected. I say, if you will help us to achieve self-respect and respect of the nations of the earth and a place on this earth that we can be independent to ourselves as other independent nations, I say, pull down your dress. It is a shame and a disgrace to <coughs> ride on public vehicles today. Yeah. To look at you sitting up there yeah. with not nothing to cover your own shame. Right. It's a shame that you would fall for such filth just because white women is doing it. Right. Then when they get you practicing it, then they move up to another right. star. Right. They don't want to look like you. They only ease you over in <laughs> to mock their yeah. shame and disgrace, then right. they stand off the side. Right. 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 Look at you, then make a fool of yourself. Right. Right. I say, wake up, black woman, wake up. Right. Right. Show self-respect. Right. Right. Don't never say a indecent Death is the star. It's always out of star with decent people. Do this, will you? And you will help us men, folks who are fighting hard for your freedom. Right. You will help us. And stop grinning in white people's face right. and showing. <laughs> It is one of the ugliest things that you can do to start grinning in white men's face. You should turn your head if you can't uh, uh, force yourself to not grin, then turn your head and don't even look at the person. I saw in Asia black women like yourself would not even allow a black men to look in their face. Right, right. They are decent people. Right, right. But you walk down the street looking for men to look in your face. Right. White man look at you and blink his eye, you lack it. Right. I said, that's because of you. It would knowledge of him. It, it is, that's his nature and the nature of, of his people right. to bring you to a north. Right. Disgrace you. One of these black men would walk through his neighborhood on the north side, start waking at some of those of his daughters or his wives, he wouldn't get back on the south side. <laughs> Should not we as men protect our own woman as he's trying to protect him? Look at this. Boys and men that we have lost in the South from the false charges of white girls and women. Charging them with looking at them or winking at them or trying to insult them. That, that charge alone should make you hear. When you see them trying to wink at you, you should look at them and say, my brother died in this hour right. from the false charge. Right.
white men don't love you to that. They just want to make you a <coughs> public disgrace. That's the nature of them. They did that back in 6,000 years ago and what is known as Persia today. They did that then. That's why they was exiled and put in the confines of Europe because that they started trouble among our people until we had to go to war to get them out. And I said to you women, Please remember, they're not our friends. I will tell the whole entire white race of the earth, they're no friends of ours. Why should we take them for friends? They're no friend of ours. They're our enemies, open enemies. A friend will not kill his friend. A friend will not, not deprive his friend of justice. A friend will not try to make uh, uh, his friend a slave. Right. Right. No. <laughs> do they try to do all these things for you? Of good? No. They are yet anything coming to you of good. Right. I said to you, and I said to the white man, the time have come that a separation of the black man and the white man will take place whether you like it or not. I want to say again, if you don't want to give us some of this ice to ourselves to live on as you have killed off our brothers, our own people to take it, and live on it yourself, I say we have a God that will make a place here for us. I thank you who has been so patient here today to look and listen at this subject of what the Muslim wants. The Muslim want for their whole black nation of our people in America, freedom, justice, and equality. That's what we want for you. We cannot exercise or enjoy freedom, justice, and equality unless we have a home on this earth that we can call our own. We lie down at night afraid. We'll get up in the morning afraid that we're going to be mistreated. Just a moment, brothers and sisters, do not go out right now. I want you to hear this. Do not go out. Don't run. We want to dismiss you in a few minutes. That's right. I want you to stand and tell me what you want. Well, think of this program. That's what I want you to do. We don't teach and then tell you to keep your mouth shut and do not say anything about it, what you like about it. If you don't like this, it's okay, tell us you don't like it. If you like it, tell us you like it. And I want to ask you in this way, if you don't want to stand or come out and tell us what you think of what I have said, of our words, I want you to raise your hand. All of you who like it, I know that I have said the truth here to today and that the program is good for you. I want you to stand or raise your hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I want to say to you again, all of you who have stood up and agreed with me that this is nothing but right, nothing but justice, would you like to file around here and shake my hand? Or would you like to uh, take... Pardon me. You got brothers on the end of each aisle. Yeah. Or would you take one of these cards and... 
Sign them. Put your name on them. That you are a man or you are a woman for freedom, justice, and equality for your people. That you believe in Muhammad teaching of freedom, justice, and equality by putting your name on it. Or would you like to come by and shake my hand and take one and carry it home? We have some brothers on the end of the aisles and drop them. Oh, you have some buckets right down beside us. Just drop them in that bucket there. And we will take them home and we will uh, write you and let you know that your name has been recorded on the book that the Bible called life. The book that is called life in the Revelation. It means a nation that will live forever. I thank you. I have, I have uh, enjoyed myself here this afternoon with you and I have delivered to you what we want. And that means that it's for you and me, all of us, whether you believe in Islam or whether you believe in Catholic or what, if you believe with me that you should be freed indeed and given justice and equality as other nations on some of this earth that you can call your own, I say, you and our brother. I love that to show you that I am your brother and show you that my life is for your life and that <clears throat> since you can't get around to uh, shake my, my hand as, as we desire, they don't want me to go, undergo all of this work, but I'm willing. I have uh, <coughs> shook 400 hands a many times at once. I can shake up 400,000 hands if I know that they are my brothers. <laughs> Name and address on it plain, where that we can, uh, where we can get it and touch for and with you. We want, again, that you know this, that you, who are in business, businessmen, we think that you and uh, ourselves should get together and try and make a big, a uh, bigger business for the black man here in Chicago and elsewhere by trading with ourselves. We do think that we should spend our own money with those who have what we want. We're not trying to boycott white people, but we do think that if we have a brother over here with a store that has what we wanted, I do think we, it's nothing but right for me to go over there and spend my dollar with him if I have one. And in this way, you will help building yourself as a strong financial nation. You cannot build a strong economy among yourself until you unite it and try to spend your own money, your own earnings among your own kind. I'm not boycotting because the white man produces these things. But that don't make us go back and give the <coughs> the white man back our salary just because he are the producer. I do say that we that is uh, wealthy, not me now, I'm talking to you, uh, that have money, you should get together and go and buy farmland in the south or west or southwest or wherever that farmland is available. It is available in the government somewhere. Buy it. Go buy a machine from the white man. Go there and till that land and try and go and produce your own food and your own clothes. You are used to raise, uh, uh, raising cotton in the south. Go now and raise cotton and <clears throat> take that lint and weave it into cloth and put it on your back. Go and get you some sheep, take that wool off of their back, and make you some clothes for yourself. 
you have done it for white people, why not do it for yourself? Go and take the height off of that element and make you some shoes out of it. You can do it. If you have done it for the right man, why not do it for yourself? Let us get together and produce our own need and pool our own resources so that we can establish a firm and a dependable economy among our own selves. Thank you. I thank you and may the peace and the blessing of Almighty God Allah go with each and every one of you from this day on as I say in his name. I salam alaykum. <laughs>